the expo. Air Force Marathon weekend. Welcome to Wright Patterson Air Force Base. I'm counting on all of you finishing in a safe manner. Good luck and best wishes. Four races of the Air Force Marathon weekend. We've got a 5K, we've got a 10K, we've got a half marathon and a full marathon. 15,000 people here. There are runners from 50 states and 14 countries. Coming out here uh, to celebrate the birthday of the United States Air Force and this year we're celebrating our 68th birthday. And it's just a great way to celebrate our Air Force heritage. It's just awesome. The Air Force Marathon is just different, you know, the camaraderie here. It's incredible. Um, it's kind of like a big Air Force team. It's great. Great weather. I loved it. A little tougher than I thought, but I uh, got through it. Beat my uh, time, my goals, so pretty happy with that. You got a headwind over there, tailwind here, the crowd just cheering. 
Come that tailwind in the crowd on, brought me it. back to life. That's what fueled my kick. But we could not do this marathon without the 2,500 volunteers that we get. Thank you guys. The crowd support all along the route was amazing. It was awesome. Every time you're getting down, you turn the corner and everybody's cheering. and it just makes you push even harder. It really helps runners because it keeps you motivated when you're tired and feeling like giving up. And those, those volunteers and helpers really, really provide motivation. When you're in the backside area A, you can't really have a lot of spectators. So really all you have back there are volunteers and they're just incredible. Oh, they were awesome. Uh, definitely first rate. Yeah, volunteers. Great. Out there on the course helping us get through, making sure we're getting water and hydrated and no one's uh, having any issues. So, yeah, it couldn't happen without those volunteers. I think this is probably one of the best marathons that I've been involved in. The volunteers are so awesome. They keep you motivated during the course. Um, I appreciate the themes of the aid stations, um, especially the, the alien landing zone. It's great. I love the Star Wars uh, outfit that was down there. I want to say around mile 9 or 11 in there. I got my beads from, uh, I forgot, I think it's 13, the pirate. Wonderful, wonderful. They were all so cheering and the waters and the Gatorade and the little squirty things. I don't know what they're called. It looks great. Yeah, a lot of support from people with one base and off base, so it's, it's, it's been really great. Thanks for being out there and supporting us. You didn't have to do it. We all really appreciate it. Great atmosphere. Uh, there's a lot of people out there cheering you on. Uh, they, they really support this well, and it's a really exciting, fun race to do. The flyovers, the team competition with the match comes. Just you know, something about wearing an Air Force jersey and everybody cheering for you. Definitely do it. Um, it's, this race, you have to be very mentally strong, so you have to prepare for that. But it's such an excellent race. And, be able to finish yeah, at the Air Force Southern Museum. Ohio, all these beautiful planes next door. And, um, it's just such a meaningful event. It's the epitome of the Air Force spirit. I mean, everybody coming together and working as a team, um, you know, the camaraderie. It's everything absolutely that I love about the Air Force. I'm tired, but it was worth it. Definitely do it. It's a good chance to push yourself, see how far you can go. Definitely worth it, crossing that finish line. You gotta come and try it. I mean, it's worth it. I'm gonna do it again. Do it! Do it! This was great. It was a wonderful experience. The enthusiasm, the engagement, the camaraderie that people experience here, whether they're a volunteer, a runner, a sponsor, or a vendor, is just amazing. It's just an incredible event.